We need to talk about the VIX. This is a big deal, especially from just last Friday. We had a $16.7 million out the money call for the 17 strike that expires on February 14th, 2024. So just about a month away. This was 250,000 contracts. An insanely rare print. It is very rare to see something like this. I actually can't remember the last time we've seen a print similar of stature uh, to this one that we had right here. And you can see the option market just went into an absolute frenzy right afterwards because all of these call prints started to hit the tape after this trader bought 250,000 contracts. A lot of people maybe hedging their position or trying to take a similar bet uh, to this whale. But basically, uh, this is going to be a key print to watch as we go forward from here, because if you look at the chart over here, the VIX has been suppressed for a very long time now, especially since around that October bottom that we had. It just been continuous downside uh, for a very long time. And now it's just been consolidating within this range, uh, right below this 1420 pivot that I have in between around 12 uh, here on the volatility index. So the fact that a trader with that much premium is uh, targeting Targeting, at least just based on the strike, a 17 handle is definitely something that is unusual, especially within the next month. Again, it doesn't have to hit 17 for them to be profitable, especially if the move or their desired move of upside in volatility occurs within the next week or so, and they can profit uh, with it going to a lower price. However, it is super unusual to see something that far out the money uh, since we haven't been around 17 since all the way back in the first week of November. As crazy as that sounds, all the way back on November 1st, that was the last time that we traded within 17 on the VIX. So uh, this this is definitely something we are going to want to watch for as we go into the month of February, especially as we're coming out of OPEX uh, for January, because remember, this week is uh, the January OPEX. It's been fairly bullish this month so far, at least for the S&P 500. Uh, so it's certainly possible and actually tracks uh, with my own work for this quarter that there's a viable pullback setup uh, to go back and retest this trend line over here. Uh, so this is the trend line that goes all the way back to all-time highs that were set on January 4th of 2022. Two, if you remember from back here, and you can drag it across to the high that was made before that fall correction that we had in 2023, before that October bottom formed, we had the massive rally to the upside, uh, which we were able to catch, if you remember, uh, from the previous videos we did all the way throughout October. And make sure to subscribe below so we do these videos every week, and we'll share a similar insight to the insight I'm sharing now, where there's a viable pullback setup on the horizon, uh, which one could be a good short setup, which I'll get into in a second here, other than two is just a great risk off signal. Whenever you see prints like this out of nowhere because remember we were barely getting any vix call prints throughout the week like if i go back this is filtered for just last week alone if i go back to previous days throughout the week there's barely anything it only started to get crazy once this print hit right here on friday of last week and then the floodgates basically opened and we saw a lot more prints afterwards so i'd be interested to see if we see more of these as we head into this week like tuesday wednesday um, of this week as we head into opex uh, since this trader clearly is either expecting a large move or just hedging for the potential of that large move uh, within the next month or so. So whenever you see flow like this out of nowhere, it's a great risk off signal. It means don't be as aggressive to the upside as we've had to be considering the extent of this rally to the upside, just consistent cap ups a day after day, followed by more rallies after consolidation, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, this is a great one risk off signal and then two potential for a short setup. Now, one caveat with that, there still is unfinished business at the all time high level. I find it very unlikely, at least this is just based on my experience. I find it unlikely that we would not hit all time highs, uh, at least wick above them shortly uh, before there's some type of a large downside move to retest uh, this key trend line over here. So it doesn't have to happen, but considering how close we are right now, I just find it unlikely. And all-time highs are just a door away, as you can see from over here, from the previous all-time high, uh, just a tad above the 480 level, uh, right around 480 actually. So my plan for this week is to see if we have kind of like a wick above that all-time high level, if that were to be the case, I'd take that special short opportunity. If we're looking at SPX levels, I'd be looking around 4,820 to 4,850 ish. I'd take a nice uh, short setup off that. Again, it doesn't have to happen where we go to all time highs, but we are super close right now. It just seems like it. And especially with the wicks we saw on the daily candles for Friday as well as Thursday last week, it looks like there's still a valid support level uh, between this 472 to 475 range. So, would not be surprised to see something like that. But again, as we enter this OPEX time period, things can really change after Friday of this week after a lot of those options expire, especially because this is a January OPEX. A lot of the leaps or leap contracts are expiring on Friday, which can change a lot of flows up as we head into the month of February. So 
I'll be watching this very closely. Basically a breakdown below the low that we saw on last Thursday will most likely warrant some type of a deeper pullback. So keep that in mind. It's roughly around 472.40 ish. That's the level. So if we do see a breakdown below there, we can expect a lot more downside at least to the previous low or at least minor low that was made in the high 460s. But nevertheless, this is a good sign or a good signal to risk off, at least just based on what we saw in terms of the VIX flow like I showed you early in the video. Uh, this is a good time to risk off uh, because there's a potential deeper pullback here on the horizon. And also one last note on this, I don't expect it to be a huge pullback that we're going to see some type of crash scenario. Uh, it's very unlikely that'll be the case. But um, in this case, like I shared with you earlier, I would like to see this trend line get satisfied at some point during quarter one of 2024, which we're in right now. I would like to see it get tested just because typically downtrend breakouts tend to get retested um, after they've broken out. And that's actually healthy to have them get retested. Um, in the past, if you look over to um, here, for example, from last year, or the correction that we had throughout 2022, we broke out of a key downward trend line right over here in January. Or this was actually in 2023 that we broke out of it. But the trend line, same exact starting point at all-time highs from 2022, you can see rejected over here, over here, and over here twice, actually. And then we broke out of it. And after it broke out, it went for a little bit of a run, but then came back to retest it during the banking crisis or Silicon Valley banking crisis that we saw in March, retested the trend line beautifully and continued to the upside after. That's a healthy breakout, retest, and go pattern um, in this case, which I'd like to see over here, breakout, and then a potential retest within quarter one, which we're eyeing for right here. We also have that whale uh, to support us with that potential downside move or quick downside move for an uptick in the VIX since they are mainly inversely correlated. And then also the dark bull prints support this as well, which I'll get into in a second. But if we have that nice breakout, which we already had, retest and then go afterwards, we can actually see a consistent uptrend all the way up to the high 400s after that. That's my base case right now. That's what I'm tracking uh, for at least quarter one for us to see some type of a retest over here. And like I just said, dark pools are another variable that are pointing uh, to that thesis coming to fruition, which if we go back to the dark pool levels feature for last week, and we can see if we filter for uh, the 8th of January to the 12th of January here, it was actually a lot less in terms of premium last week than we had seen in prior weeks. We were on a streak for like three weeks or so where there was like a $5 billion print at least one day of every single week, uh, if not multiple days during the week, a 5 billion plus print um, occurring, which is super rare. Uh, so that's uncommon to see, but we actually started to see it lighten the load a bit last week, 1.6 billion, 1.1 billion, 1.2 billion not that much overall, all within the mid 460s. So nothing super eye catching, I guess, other than this $3.5 billion print at the 474.67 level. But all intents and purposes, this was not an insane amount of premium that we saw last week. Most of the bulk of the premium we had seen before was within this 472 to 476 range, but from the prior two weeks, prior two to three weeks, really within this range over here. And that is likely a form of distribution just in my experience. And we'll likely see the effects of this distribution uh, once price ends up pulling back from here, whether we end up going to all time high quickly first to wick above, or we just fall from down here this week, uh, the week of OPEX, we're probably going to see some type of a pullback uh, to continue down lower within this end of January, middle of January to end of January time period. So that's what I'm watching right now. We have multiple variables to back it, and we'll see if that does end up coming to fruition.